prejudice and discrimination are not only unfair and unjust, but also harmful for the economy. They create inefficiencies and distortions in the labor market and the supply chain, leading to higher costs and lower productivity. In the labor market, prejudice and discrimination can reduce the pool of qualified workers for certain jobs or industries. This can create a mismatch between the demand and supply of labor, resulting in higher wages for some groups and lower wages for others. It can also discourage some workers from investing in their human capital, such as education and training, or from pursuing their preferred careers. This can lower their productivity and earnings potential, as well as the overall output of the economy. In the supply chain, prejudice and discrimination can affect the relationships between buyers and sellers, as well as between different suppliers. This can create frictions and inefficiencies in the flow of goods and services, resulting in higher prices and lower quality. It can also reduce the diversity and innovation of suppliers, limiting their ability to meet the changing needs and preferences of customers. According to a study by the International Labor Organization, ILO, discrimination in the world of work costs the global economy about $2.6 trillion per year, or 3.7% of global GDP. This is equivalent to the combined GDP of Canada and Mexico. The study also estimates that eliminating discrimination could increase global employment by 150 million people, or 4% of the global workforce. Another study by McKinsey and Company suggests that addressing the labor mismatch in U.S. logistics and supply chains could reduce costs by 10% to 15%, increase service levels by 5% to 10%, and improve employee retention by 20% to 30%. The study identifies several strategies to overcome the labor shortage, such as expanding the talent pool, improving working conditions, enhancing skills development, and leveraging technology. These studies show that prejudice and discrimination have significant negative impacts on the economy, especially in times of crisis and uncertainty. They also show that there are potential benefits and opportunities for creating a more inclusive and equitable world of work. By eliminating prejudice and discrimination, we can not only promote social justice, but also enhance economic efficiency and performance. Inflation is a phenomenon that affects everyone, from consumers to businesses to governments. It means that the prices of goods and services are rising faster than the incomes and purchasing power of people. Inflation can erode the value of money, reduce the standard of living, and create uncertainty and instability in the economy. But what causes inflation? And how can technology help to combat it? There are many factors that can contribute to inflation, such as supply shocks, demand shocks, monetary policy, fiscal policy, and expectations. Some of these factors are beyond our control, such as natural disasters, wars, or pandemics. Others are influenced by human decisions, such as how much money is printed, how much debt is issued, or how much spending is stimulated. One of the main drivers of inflation in recent times has been the COVID-19 pandemic, which disrupted global supply chains, increased consumer demand for certain goods and services, and prompted unprecedented fiscal and monetary stimulus measures by governments and central banks. These factors have created a mismatch between supply and demand, pushing up prices across various sectors and regions. However, not all inflation is bad. In fact, some inflation is desirable and healthy for the economy, as it reflects economic growth, innovation, and productivity. The problem arises when inflation is too high or too low, or when it is unpredictable and volatile. That's where technology can play a vital role in mitigating the inflation crisis. Technology can help to increase efficiency, innovation, and transparency in the economy, which can lower costs, boost productivity, and improve competitiveness. Let's look at some examples of how technology can fight inflation. Technology can increase efficiency by automating and digitizing processes that are labor-intensive, time-consuming, or prone to errors. For instance, artificial intelligence can help to optimize inventory management, logistics, customer service, and fraud detection. Blockchain can help to streamline transactions, contracts, and records across multiple parties. 
Cloud computing can help to reduce IT infrastructure costs and enhance scalability and security. Technology can foster innovation by creating new products, services, markets, and business models that offer better value for customers and society. For instance, biotechnology can help to develop new vaccines and treatments for diseases. Renewable energy can help to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and lower greenhouse gas emissions. E-commerce can help to expand access to goods and services across geographies and demographics. Technology can enhance transparency by providing more data, information, and insights that can inform decision-making and accountability. For instance, big data analytics can help to monitor and forecast economic trends, consumer behavior, and market conditions. Social media can help to disseminate news and opinions that can shape public perception and expectations. Fintech can help to improve financial inclusion and literacy among underserved populations. These are just some of the ways that technology can help to mitigate the inflation crisis by improving efficiency, innovation, and transparency in the economy. Technology can also create positive spillover effects that can benefit other sectors and society at large, such as education, healthcare, and environment. However, technology is not a silver bullet that can solve all our problems. Technology also comes with challenges and risks that need to be addressed and managed. For instance, technology can create digital divides and inequalities among different groups and regions. Technology can also pose ethical and regulatory dilemmas that require careful consideration and collaboration. Therefore, we need a balanced and holistic approach to harnessing the power of technology to combat inflation. We need to invest in research and development to foster innovation and competitiveness. We need to adopt best practices and standards to ensure quality and reliability. We need to educate and empower our people to use technology wisely and responsibly. And we need to cooperate and coordinate with other stakeholders to create a conducive environment for technology adoption and diffusion. By doing so, we can leverage technology as a tool to fight inflation, to boost economic growth, and to improve social welfare.